Hey, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hum, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. And listen, not all black women. Man, y'all need to go fight for your kids. How about you come fight with us? When a man wanna go put on a damn dress, you'll go fight with him. You'll go fight with him. When a woman go, wanna go, go to, when a woman wanna be a man, you'll go fight with her. But when a man wanna fight for his kids, y'all say, you go fight for your kids. Come join us. Use the same damn energy. Y'all, y'all are some hell of an artist with those posters. Come bring the posters. Come bring the flags. Go paint your face. Come on. Come fight with us. No, nah, you go fight. That's what I hear. You go fight for your kids. I will sit back here and watch. All black women. All right. Mm. Quick, because more, there's more to it. You want to play it again real quick? You want to talk about it real quick? No, nah, I, I got it. I got what you say. I don't got to play it again. All right. So look. Okay. Yo, that was crazy. So uh, I, I get his point. Uh, and it was actually a great point because it's, it seemed like we have, uh, what's the term? They, like, um, I forgot the term they use, but, but uh, like we we use, we just kind of get like mad at certain things, right? But we know, we knowing that certain people are doing some things wrong, right? And we don't want to help that, that situation out. But as soon as we see something that we like, or we feel a part of, or kind of want to join. Now, all of a sudden, you know, what I mean, that's it, it's not okay. I want to fight like I'll fight for this situation when we should be um, across the board. And it's kind of getting into the topic that we should have um, played the one with the teenagers first with this topic, with them because it kind of goes into this. Because we already know if a father's not in the household, what happens? You know, what I mean, they're more, they're more likely to go to jail. They're more likely to be on depression medication. They're more likely um, to be a, a, a fucked up human being, just to be honest with you, right? So you you have to have that father in life and stop making the life so difficult for that man to get in life if we want to change the outcomes of how these kids are growing up. Mm -hmm. But it seems like we don't want to change the outcome. We want to have all the power. That's it, right? Oh, yeah, selective outrage. Appreciate that. Somebody just needs to left alone. Exactly. We have selective outrage on certain things rather than having it all across the board. Because we know we need these men in life. We already seen how many how many our parents failed for not having men men in in the kids' life. And I'm not talking about the ones that the men that don't want to be in like in the child's life, right? I'm talking about the the ones that do. Because I see more of the ones that do want to be in the child's life rather than the ones that don't. Especially in the, in in our community, because they say we the most involved fathers out of any group, right? But a lot of them still get a lot of flack mm -hmm. for. Trying to, I had, I got a lot of flack for getting custody of my son. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how how you gonna get try to get custody of your son when you supposed to give it to the, the lady? Blah 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 blah. Gotta act when, right. Yeah, when she's not acting right. Number one, and then number two is a son. How's she gonna raise my son? How's she gonna tell him how to be a man? She's not. And then she's gonna. She already crazy with the visitation now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I have full control over it. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, my bad. But you, you get what I'm going with this shit. Like, it's real, So man. there's more to this video. Um, Someone reacted to it. So let's see what this lady has to say. Okay. And listen, not all black women. Man, y'all need to go fight for your kids. How about you come fight with us? When a man want to go put on a damn dress, I'm you'll sorry, go fight yeah. with him. You'll go fight with him. When a woman want to go, go to, when a woman want to be a man, you'll go fight with her. But when a man want to fight for his kids, y'all say, you go fight for your kids. Come join us. Use the same damn energy. Y'all, y'all are some hell of an artist with those posters. Come bring the posters. Come bring the flags. Go paint your face. Come on. Come fight with us. No, you go fight. That's what I hear. You go fight for your kids. I will sit back here and watch. All black women. Man, y'all need to go fight for your kids. How about you come fight with us? Y'all not tired of seeking help from women to fight y'all battles? Are y'all not tired of this shit? Because black women are tired of fighting for y'all. Now y'all trying to make women seem wrong or make women, black women wrong for not wanting to fight for you to fight for your kids. Why am I fighting for your kids? Those are not my kids. You abandoned your kids. What the hell am I hoping you fight for your kids for? You shouldn't have left from the beginning. I don't see how y'all want women to do everything and you call yourself a fucking man. How? 
black women don't need to come and fight with you because we are already here. We have the kids. So where are we going? Remember, y'all left. Y'all don't want to have problems with black women. So why do we have to keep fighting y'all battles? That's one thing the black man taught me was diversity because y'all the ones out there having a kids with all women of all different race and you want us to help y'all go get those kids that you just keep leaving man i need to fucking man up y'all really need to man up and stop looking at black women to help y'all or save y'all all the time y'all need to man up and see this is um so when we have arguments guys this is one of the problems that i have it's, it's not genuine right so if a man is saying to help me with my kids, right? Why would somebody say help me fight for my kids when they abandon them? Don't that mean they don't want the kid if they abandon the kid? So when we having these types of arguments and, and all this type of talk and stuff like that, like they like everybody always want to have like a clap back or like a, a or say something that's going to say, oh, well, you should have did this. You should have did this. Right. What we talking about when, when he was talking about was the court system. He's not talking about black women. Right. He's talking about fighting the court system because he understands what when we go to court, the woman is going to get custody. Right. So now the court system is going to make it hard for the kids. But we don't want to fight the court system and fight you as well, because if women make it hard for the man to see the kid. Like I know situations right now. I kind of get a little person. I ain't going to say the people's name. So my wife won't say that. But it's people that I we close to that. Um, that he's supposed to have certain days to visit his, ch his child. But the woman made it very hard for him to do it. He's paying the child's way. He's doing what he's supposed to do because the court system made it or told him to do this, right? He did that. Now she made it hard for him to see his kids and then bring them on when the drop-off days, then bring the kids. So now he wasn't able to see his kid. And then now when he goes and take them back to court, now the court system don't do nothing about that. They just say, oh, well, here's a slap on the wrist. Okay, you didn't let the father see his kids. All right, cool, we good, right? So we don't say nothing about that situation. So he's talking about those type of situations. He's not talking about a situation when the man don't want to be there because the man don't want to be there, he's not. So why are you bring? It's, it's like the homeless to, to, it's like from the homeless to rich situation. You either homeless or rich. It always got to go from the other side, right? Like, just like with me, right? When, when I was fighting for custody of my, my son in a situation like that, right? It wasn't a lot of people that was that was helping me out or something like that, and and that's exactly what he's saying because the court system was trying to help her out even though she was fucked up. It was the GAL was trying to help her out because even though she was fucked up, you know what I'm saying. So, but I still uh, want strong because my I had to have a lot of evidence that it came up that she didn't show up to court because my evidence was so strong. But if say if I did have all that evidence now, I would have been kind of in the same situation. Saying, yo, like this shit, the system is messed up. Now my son is getting raised in a worse situation where he uh, would have been if he wasn't with me, right? So men are not just leaving these kids. And then he's talking about um, dating, uh, uh, kids out of another race. Well, I think it's like 85 and up of black men are with black women. So why y'all making these dumbass arguments? You know, so it's just it's just people like that that's, that they ain't got no man in sight. That's been single all their life and holding all this trauma. They suffer from uh, PTPD, whatever, uh, post-traumatic pookie disorder, because they dealt with a dumb, dumb person. I was about to say, I was about to say, no, no, no. they suffer from, um, uh, they, they suffer from that, and now they want to make all men like that, right? No, it's great men out here. You just didn't choose. No, it's, it, uh, no, I, uh, it was, it's PTPD. I, I made up a new diagnosis. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. I made up a new um, post-traumatic pookie disorder. <laughs> but yeah, so so this is what's going on. And, um, so you're basically saying, why are you fighting for gay rights, right? But oh well, you fight for their rights, Rainbow. but you don't want to you you don't want to um, fight for the other people's rights. You know what I mean? Uh, in the court system, because that's going to be helping with the families, right? That's the people you having kids with, so they should have more time, or you should be want to push them off to your to the kid if the relationship didn't work. You know what I'm saying? So we, we have to be honest when we having these conversations, whatever, because men are actually fight for the kids, and a lot of times the lawyers will tell them, hey, like, hey, you have a losing case. 
hey, you have evidence because that's what my lawyer told me. Hey, you have evidence of this? You have evidence of this? I'm like, yep. He was like, great. We're gonna, we got a great chance of winning, right? But if I didn't have that shit, he'd be like, bro, hey, honestly, you, you might not even need to fight this one. You know what I'm saying? So you you got to be honest when it, when it comes to the court system and know when you have an advantage. And it's okay for you to have an advantage, but just understand that, hey, it's certain men that want to be in their kid's life, but they just don't want to be with you. And that's okay. You got to be willing to say okay with that. Because if, if you wasn't okay with that, you should have did better to keep them. But you don't want to do that because you don't want to be a, a better woman or you don't want... You you chasing after the bad guys, the ones that just wanted to smash you. Because a lot of these kids wasn't wasn't asked to be here. You know what I mean? A lot of you know, a lot of women wasn't married before they had their kids. So how do you know that man wanted to take you serious? So like if he if he wanted to take you serious, he would have married you. Mm-mm. Let's be real. How many kids we had before we got married? <laughs> I'm just saying. Where am I at right now? We're here with my kids. My kids sleep in the next room right here. You know what I'm saying? So we have to have genuine conversation. We got to stop the BS, right? And 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 just to have some clapback to get some damn like for some some um heartless people that don't really know much about themselves, or they just having a whole pent up anger because somebody did them wrong in the past because they chose the wrong person. I can I can do the same thing. I can say, oh, women ain't crap because my ex wife wasn't crap. No, I ain't do that. I found me a better woman. I took accountability for myself. Hey, I was weak in this area. I should have seen the signs. I picked wrong. That's what I told myself. And women, y'all need to start doing that too as well. If y'all feel like, if y'all feel what she said was right, that means y'all have something mentally wrong with you. Oh. P- PTPD. Yeah, like there, there are some women who um, agree with her. And yeah, no. So he said it all. So you know what oh, I mean? Oh, my bad. You my got bad. that one. Look. Yeah, I was passionate because I actually went through this. Man. I, I know. That's I'm like, you got that one. Yeah. Like you can't be saying like, hey, like, you know what I mean? We guys don't, guys want to be in a picture. Like, especially if we have a kid, like it's only a small percentage of men that's out there just say, hey, I want to be, I don't want to be in my kid's life. That's, and that, and that's a reckless small percentage. And I would, I would, I would call them dumb as hell too. I would say y'all are wrong for that shit. And most guys will. Most guys don't even much hang with them. They only hang with each other. That's how bad it is. We shun them out of the community. If we hear a man beating on a woman or if a man um, not dealing with his kids, all these men, we're going we gonna, to we gonna get on them for that. So let's just be honest, man. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt. This ain't a phone. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it cold.